history lesson here in Jacksonville. It's a Legacy of Honor and Valor exhibit at the main library downtown in Jacksonville. It puts the spotlight on African American military units. There's a focus this year specifically on the Tuskegee Air Women. Joining me now is Joe Hotwing Tillman, who's president <laughs> of the Buffalo Soldiers Historical Society. Good morning, Gene. Thank morning, you for being Jane. here. All right, and I have to know the <laughs> I have to know the history and the story behind uh, uh, your nickname of of Hotwing. Well, I earned it. Um... One, because I ride a gold wing motorcycle. Two, because anytime we go out of town and the question is asked, well, what do you want to eat? And then they, you know, anytime you're in a group, well, uh, whatever. Okay, I've already put GPS into the nearest hot wing place. So. I love it. That's great. And now I know that you travel around, obviously, and talk to groups, a, a lot of children in particular. There's a lot of kids who are at home this summer. Let's get them out and let's teach them a little bit about history. And the specific focus this year is on the T Tuskegee Air Women. Yes. Share a little bit of that history with us, if you will, because I, I, it, it's kind of like the hidden figures of NASA, but not. Right, exactly. The Tuskegee Air Women, um, there's three that I like to highlight. Uh, Wilma w was a, um, already had a school. She was training pilots before the Tuskegee uh, program. She should have gotten the program to train pilots, but because of being a woman at that time and black, she wasn't able to get the uh, program, so she went to Tuskegee to train the pilots. Mm -hmm. So she was one of the trainers for the Tuskegee Airmen. Uh, Mildred Carter was the youngest female in the state of Alabama to get her pilot's license, mm -hmm. black or white. Mm -hmm. She, in turn, tried to join the, the wax, but she wasn't able to join, so she went to Tuskegee. Mm -hmm. And what's special about her is that she started dating one of the Tuskegee Airmen and they ended up getting married. And the way they would court is both would take their planes up and fly over Alabama. Oh, and that's how they would court. So it's a story coming out at one point talking about the Tuskegee love story. They stayed married, lived right there in Tuskegee uh, for almost 70 years. Now, just... are these some of the stories then that will be on display at the library downtown? Correct. Correct. What else will families, for example, because you mentioned that the libraries even said that you get that they get the most foot foot traffic specifically when you have something on display the e Buffalo exactly Soldier. because see we cover all african-american military history so it's not just focusing on the buffalo soldiers we cover all branches of service to include the merchant marines and we start from 1775 and go into 1951 so what the kids will see for instance we'll say jackie robinson we knew he was a baseball player but most people didn't know he was a buffalo soldier and he also served with the 761st Tank Battalion. So we have different displays up. The 6888 Central Postal Battalion was all African-American female unit. And their motto was no male, no morale. They went to Europe, commanded by African-American women. From top to bottom, it was all women. And the male was two years behind in less than six, where they were given six months to get it on time, get it corrected. They've done it in three months and it was never late again. Well, I think what's interesting too is because as you mentioned, you know, um, there becomes more mass knowledge of this because a movie is made. Right. And, and you're really trying to bring attention despite what's going on in Hollywood to the amazing you know, contributions to society that men and women, particularly African American, have made, you know, over history. That and is correct. a lot correct. of people just don't know about it. Exactly, exactly. That's why the exhibit is named A Legacy of Honor and Valor. What we we want to show is that from the time this country was founded, not before it was the United States of, of America, but from the time this country was founded, people of color has participated in every major conflict on this continent, every one of them. But what is funny is that at the end of each one, we're regulate, regulated back to a manual task without giving the same rights as any other citizen. Now, you will, um, in addition to the main library, you're also going to be going to some of the smaller libraries and, and speaking as well. So you're going to be at, uh, let's see, you're going to be in at the Regency Library? Correct. Right on July 13th yes. from 6 to 8, and then also at the library um, at South me. Mandarin. From South yep, Mandarin, Yep, correct. on July 26th from 6.30 to 8. That is correct. Thank you so much for being here. Do Thank appreciate you. Looking forward to enjoying the exhibit as well. Thank you for Wonderful. having us. Wonderful. And tell everybody about that. You can see the Buffalo Soldiers presentation at the main library. Now it's on display through July 8th. We will have this information with this entire interview posted later this morning on the morning show page.